B-U-I-S, Backup Iron Sights. These generic, inexpensive flip-up sights are a dime a dozen. Well, not quite a dime, but there are literally dozens of different Chinese brands that make the exact same thing. So, would you trust one from a brand you'd never heard of? These are Nella Hall flip-up iron sights, and we're going to see what you get in the box and answer the big question. Do they work? On this episode of Moondog Industries. All right, these are my Picatinny flip-up sights made by Nila Hall, which is a brand I haven't heard of, but I saw these on Amazon and they were inexpensive, uh, but they still looked like, uh, well, practically every other flip-up sight, but I thought that uh, um, I might not go wrong if I tried these out. I want to thank them for sending uh, this out to me for uh, testing and evaluation, though, but this is what you would expect to get if you ordered it uh, online. It comes in this plastic this uh, plain plastic case uh, with a textured black plastic on the outside. Let's see what you get on the inside. And yeah, it doesn't disappoint. These are pretty much standard flip-up iron sights that you know pretty much every yeah you know, every uh, everyone looks like this. Uh, made by various different brands. Um, the theory goes that they're all made in the same factory in China, though in reality it's probably made from a handful of different factories, but they're all using the same CNC files um, that either were shared or <laughs> copied. Uh, but um, these are all milled uh, or stamped uh, construction, and just looking at them, they look pretty legit. They're usually, if they're really cheap, they'll be like bad pitting and just really cheap looking materials and there'll be lots of blemishes. This one, these ones I can't find any uh, pitting on here, so that's a good sign. Um, these are pretty much standard to most ARs in, in terms of function. Uh, you would use an AR front sight tool here to adjust the height of uh, your front uh, sight post. Um, you have to press down this detent and then just rotate it. Either uh, you can raise it or lower it for your elevation. And the rears, uh, the rear sights, these are peep sights that uh, are, are finger adjustable. So you would just turn them. You can hear that. Uh, they have their little index there. So that's nice that it's indexed. So it's less likely to shift in position uh, rather than just using uh, sheer tension. And uh, these peep sights are either you have your long, you have your either your, your close range or CQB, which are with a very generous sized aperture here, or you have your long range, which uh, has a much smaller aperture. If you're shooting at lo uh, ranges lo longer than uh, say two or three hundred yards, you generally want to go with a smaller aperture, uh, or if you want more precise shots, and if you're target shooting at closer than 200 yards you generally use the uh, or if you're doing action shooting you want the larger aperture and they function let's see if they function correctly yes there's a little detent you can hear that little snap there that's there's a little detent pin here that keeps it locked in place just press that down press this down and allows it to lie down so you can keep keep your your sights out of the way which are these are essentially backup iron sights um, and it should be, yeah, there's an included Allen wrench here. Use that to cinch this down onto your Picatinny rail. And, um, or, and uh, this is your rear sight, your front sight. Let's just check that out, make sure that's working. Yeah, there you go. So, well, you just put these on your ARs, uh, your AR or whatever rifle that has a Picatinny rail. Uh, or pick it any compatible sized rail and um, you've got iron sights you've got backup iron sights or primary iron sights whatever i'm going to be using this actually on a precision rifle uh, build i'm going to be um, putting this on a uh, ruger precision rimfire to uh, teach uh, my kids basic uh, a basic marksmanship marksmanship um, so we'll see how that goes with uh, with uh, that rifle but for the rest of you folks this is what you could expect to get I'm off to the range.
Install was pretty much standard. You just use the included Allen wrench to tighten it down onto your Picatinny rail. That's why it probably didn't come with instructions because honestly, do you need them? But I don't mean to shame any new gun owners who might not know how to install iron sights, nor any YouTube staffer reviewing this video. I just want to point out that these are not gun modifications. These are standard parts, I would even say mandatory parts for any rifle to use them safely. If you can't aim your rifle with any certainty, then how can you be shooting it safely? Now, it's totally different if you're out in the country, you're on your own property, you've got a berm as your backstop, then, you know, have at it. Uh, if that's the case, please leave me a comment. I envy your freedom. But if you're shooting at my municipal range and I'm next to you, I need to know that you know where you're aiming. Okay, we've got the front and rear sides installed and I'm just making sure they're cinched down. So let's find out if I can make any decent groups at 25 yards with these things. We're at the Coyote Point range and I'm gonna set up at 25 yards to do our testing. While I do that, please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. It's free, it's easy, it helps this channel grow, but more importantly, it allows you to take control to influence Big Tech's algorithm. You know, cause they like to suppress a lot of firearms videos. So when you hit like and subscribe, you'll start seeing more content, more videos like this, instead of suggesting K-pop band reaction videos. But instead of watching pretty Korean boys singing, you could be watching more gun and ammo videos, but it's up to you. Hit that like and subscribe. Okay, back on topic. I'm at 25 yards and we're dialing in these sights. You adjust the rear sight for windage by turning a knob and it has two apertures. It has two peepholes, a wider one for engaging targets from CQB out to about 200 meters distance typically, and a smaller peephole for engaging targets beyond 200 meters. Elevation can be adjusted on the front side by pressing down a detent pin and twisting the side post like a screw to raise or lower it. To enhance visibility, I dab the front side post with a silver sharpie. It took about 10 rounds to get the sights zeroed in, and most of those were for the front sight to adjust the elevation. But once we got it dialed in, we went through a small box of 50 rounds of ammo that afternoon. And it performed nominally. We even flipped up the sights up and down a couple of times, and despite that, it held zero. So, no complaints. So these are pretty inexpensive sights because they're pretty generic. I believe they're copies of HK style flip up sights, but I don't remember which rifle HK developed them for. If you happen to remember, please leave me a comment because I think we all want to know. And if you want to pick up these sites, you'll find product links on my written review in my blog, moondogindustries.com. And don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. It really makes a difference. Thanks again for watching. Moondog, out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please share it on forums, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, MeWe, whatever social media you're on. And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.